Well, good afternoon, <laughs> and welcome to this dedication of the Emil Bueller Center for Aviation Training and Research here at the Florida Institute of Technology. Uh, what, what, what I'd like to do now is ask the uh, Florida Tech Army ROTC to post the colors, and that will be followed by the National Anthem. Well, thanks so much for joining us for a, a long-awaited day for our College of Aeronautics uh, and Melbourne International Airport. This is something that we've uh, uh, really wanted, and uh, today it has happened. Let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing today. Uh, we're dedicating this uh, center, and uh, uh, we especially want to thank Emil Bueller. Uh, Emil Bueller was an aviation visionary, architect, and engineer whose love for the majesty and mystery of flight was more than just a private interest. It was a vision he shared during his lifetime and beyond. Uh, the Florida Institute of Technology appreciates and thanks the trust for its one and a half million dollar gift to help support uh, this facility. We also want to thank Marjorie Hayes, a philanthropist who made the simulator laboratory possible with her generous donation to Florida Tech, and of course the Melbourne International Airport, which owns this property, allowing us to build these facilities. Uh, this college started in 1967 when the Aerospace Technical Institute was, uh, was acquired. Uh, and then it has grown today to one of the finest college, college of aeronautics uh, in the country, bar none. Let me talk, let me introduce now Mr. George Weaver from the uh, Amo Bueller Perpetual Trust. He's on their board of trustees, and he has been involved with this project from the beginning. And George, we are so grateful for all you've done for this. George Weaver. What I'm going to promise is a short uh, conversation. A little bit about the trust. The trust's main issue and main dedication is general aviation, and certainly that's what this is. This uh, building is here. It far exceeded anything I expected. I did not come up and check the construction or anything like that because I knew it was in Tony's hands and uh, Ken Stackpool, and uh, uh, we just didn't worry. And it's it's an absolute thrill. And with that said. Uh, I would say that uh, we look forward to uh, uh, more activity here at FIT, and thank everybody for being here today. And let me introduce the Executive Director of the Melbourne International Airport and a great uh, supporter of our program here, Mr. Richard Ennis. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Melbourne Airport Authority, we want to thank Florida Tech, for expanding its educational facilities at this airport. I believe the construction of this facility has definitely formed a new and positive partnership. This educational operation will greatly benefit the future graduates of this school and this community. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now let me introduce the, uh, the man who's going to make all this work. It's a great honor that I introduce uh, our Dean of the College of Aeronautics, Captain Winston Scott. <laughs> Thank you very much, President Cantonese. Thank you very much, and good afternoon, and uh, very happy that everybody could come out and be with us during this exciting event today. 21st century vehicles require 21st century training, and this Emo Bueller Center for Aviation Training and Research is going to allow us to train the pilots that can pilot those vehicles. And again, thank you for coming out and being with us this afternoon. Again, thanks so much for all of you, especially the Tuskegee Airmen. We appreciate so much for joining us today. Thank you all.